What did you go through in your life? What did you go through? Did you lose someone, a lost loved one? Did you lose perhaps a spouse, a parent at a young age? Did you lose? What happened to you? There are those always who have suffered more than you. No matter who you are, no matter how much you have suffered, you may be top of the list of those who have been through one after the other. I guarantee you there will always be those who have been through more than you. Always. You lost a limb. There are people who lost two limbs. You lost two. There are those who lost four or five. You lost four or five. There are those who lost almost all their limbs and they are walking without legs, without hands and just a little body with a head on it. And have you seen them? Now that we have the internet and we have a lot of access to people across the globe, we've witnessed such people. Some of them continue in their lives and with their lives happier than those who have all their limbs. Why? Because they have come to accept what Allah has chosen for them. That's what it is. You find them in war zones, those walking without limbs at times. They are excited and happy. They don't even want you to pity them sometimes because they don't want to be treated differently simply because they don't have something. Allah has blessed us by testing us. What is the blessing? The blessing is always that part of the solution is to draw closer to your maker. And if you have, you passed it. Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, We will indeed test every one of you. What is the meaning of the term test? Does it look positive or negative to the, the general humankind? It looks negative. If I say I'm going to test you, you ought to be slightly worried, concerned. Right? You're going to have a test or an exam. There's a concern. I'm worried because it's something that's not going to be easy. Test. The word ibtila and the test and the examination is not a simple or easy word. And I promise you, my brothers and sisters, if our tests in life were very easy, we would be worried that the qualification is not as genuine as it should be. For example, you enter the school and you are now almost writing your matric or your O level at the end of secondary school. And they ask you questions like one multiplied by five. I mean, what value would that certificate hold? Let's be honest. If you knew that this, this exam is so simple ABC people will not even give any consideration to the certificate you hold because they are going to say that was so simple but when they know that you sat in that exam room for two hours sweating and you went this way and that way and everybody came out and they said it was tough and then you get an A that A means more than the A plus and the A stars that everybody seems to have gotten when it was so simple and a walk in the park